Do you want to tell the camera what happened? No. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. How does it feel to have cow poop on your foot? Good. <laughs> ew, ew. That cow poop is from like two days ago, whenever those cows were here. <laughs> He's mad. No, I'm actually not. It's good. You if, don't it was, care? if it you was happy? dog, if it was dog shit, I would be gagging right now, but it actually doesn't smell that bad. I know, I was actually saying yesterday, or maybe two days ago, whenever the cows were here, I don't mind the smell. I don't mind the smell. Of cows. It kind of reminds me of a farm. I used to ride horses when I was young, until like junior high. I rode horses for years. So it just kind of reminds me of the smell of a farm. Is that gross? Maybe. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> We have 125 watts coming in. And we are going to get a little workout in before going to Mount Rushmore, which is only 30 minutes from where we were. We were like, ah, uh, maybe we won't go. And then we looked and it was only 30 minutes away. So we're going and just gonna get a quick workout in first. As we were working out, we started hearing the dreaded moves. They're back. <laughs> and they're causing a traffic jam. Go away. Looks like I'll be fighting off more calves from rubbing their butts on the trailer. think of it. Last night was the only night that we did not have cows around and we saw three deer. That was the only time that we saw deer around our camp when the cows weren't here. And the cows are back. Not happy. Actually, it's not too bad. I think they're really funny. If we were hunting though, it would be a major, major buzzkill. Trailer life. to Mount Rushmore. I'm so excited. And yes, like I wish, can you just, can you smell me right now? Because I smell wonderful. <laughs> so does Nick. We showered for the first time. Now, turn left onto South Highway 16. We've been working all day. Time for some fun. This is cool. <laughs> I wish there was a mountain goat running across Teddy Roosevelt's face. <laughs> but that would be appropriate. But I'm really glad we came. It was well worth it. <laughs> you can see it while we walk away. That was so cool. We were a little unsure if we wanted to come here or not, but we did, and it was beautiful, and I'm so glad that we did. So now that we're leaving the monument, I'm going to look up some facts about the monument because of course, we didn't spend the time to read or look while we were there because there's just a lot of people around, you know? So we were just kind of sitting there enjoying the beauty. Majestic figures of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, 
songs about my faith in Abraham Lincoln, surrounded by the beauty of the Black Hills in South Dakota. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Nick we thinks, ask him if we yeah. Use it posted in this video. Oh, that's a great idea. Cool. Our friend Seth, Nick thinks, has a photo of either a mountain goat or a ram. It was a goat. A goat. Okay, so a mountain goat, like running across the George Washington space. Not, I mean, it was like not, not figuratively. You feel, you feel my vibe. So, if Seth has said picture, it will come on the screen right now. And if Seth does not, well, then he'll just listen to me tell you more information about <laughs> the monument. Nearly three million people visit Mount Rushmore each year. Whoa. Busiest months are June, July, August. Yes. It's really not telling me much more information and, uh, and I don't know that you necessarily want to hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs>